So this could be a potential question this year. Causes of desertification we've looked at. Uh, it's a quick revision. Let's look into it. Could be a six or a nine marker. So what is desertification? Desertification is a slow process of where fertile land eventually turns into a desert. Now, as you can see, the different colors, none of this is a desert, but this part this yellow and orange part could potentially turn into a desert. This red part is the Sahara Desert. Now, we don't want all of this to turn into desert because millions of people live here. So what is that? That is desertification, which is where fertile land turns into a desert. We call that the spreading of a desert. And we need to look into why that's happening. To get you thinking about what desertification looks like, you know, eventually all land will turn like this if these causes are not reduced or managed. Now, we can see it's the spreading of the desert. Eventually, kind of like green areas will slowly transform into deserts which is something we want to avoid these kind of exam questions we've seen both nine markers to what extent is human activity the cause of desertification uh, on areas of the fringe hot deserts so to what extent is it humans fault and again look at this question you tick obviously hot deserts and then you say can you see it says to what extent is your chosen environment at risk of hum human activity so you will have to say yes humans are the issues you give two or three causes then you say however we'll look into that now so the first human cause i need you to remember is overgrazing overgrazing is linked with animals now you gotta think i said to you that sahel region millions of people live here now obviously they're going to need the land to obviously feed their animals because they need those animals for food sources so i'll look at how i said it you know to a large extent you know overgrazing is the issue because there's a growing population there now what is overgrazing let's look into it it's when animals are feeding on the land for too long now you gotta think if they're feeding on the land for too long that obviously removes any little vegetation there is there now remember the idea of soil erosion if there's no plants there or there's no vegetation there that won't hold the soil together now if it doesn't hold the soil together the soil won't recover and therefore kind of wind and rain will easily blow away the kind of layers of that soil making soil infertile so you've got to mention soil slowly becomes infertile and that obviously when it's exposed to wind and rain will eventually turn into a desert as soon as it's infertile nothing grows there it will turn into dust so you must link it to soil erosion if you talk about the animals Talk about how they're feeding for too long and the soils don't have any roots to holding it, slowly becoming infertile. Okay, that's your first human Very similar, but mention over cultivation. So it's not always animals. It could be just humans, you know, growing lots and lots of crops. Now, you got to think about it. if they're growing the same kind of crops on the same field, that soil on that field will eventually lose its quality. So I mentioned, you know, humans in this area need, obviously, uh, food because there's a demand for food now this is when the crops continuously grown on the same area of land to produce food you gotta mention this idea that the soil becomes exhausted and therefore nothing you know recovers the soil and the soil loses its kind of like vital nutrients now will anything ever grow there no so therefore there's less kind of like crops and plants holding that soil together so you've got to mention the crops then struggle to grow vegetation decreases that soil over time turns into dust. And that is, you know, linking it back there, this shows that actually human activity is a large extent at fault for desertification. So you must mention that the soil becomes exhausted here because they overuse it. Get the nine marks, guys. You must, you know, you've given two human uh, causes. You need to say however, okay? Now the however paragraph, please pay attention because I don't think many of you know this, but this is called the natural cycle. Naturally, as you can see in this photo, now you can see the sun's rays are more direct along these kind of regions over here where kind of like deserts are found. Now, this is not a human cause, so we're not going to call it climate change, but we're going to call it naturally, there's a natural cycle where there's changing weather patterns. For example, another thing that can cause desertification is the fact that actually this part of the world has huge amounts of droughts and therefore a massive amount of lack of rainfall. Like, you know, there's no rainfall here at all whatsoever. So what do you, how do you explain that? You say soils then eventually become drier because of droughts. That leads to more soil erosion and vegetation can't grow here. Now, again, link it back to that whole, you know, the roots bind the soil. So you've got to say less vegetation will mean less roots binding the soil together. Now that soil structure, especially in this region because of droughts, which is a natural factor, 
will be blown away, making the land infertile. Now that turns into a dust. And therefore, look at this line. This shows that human uses of land is not entirely to blame. So you must offer natural cause to get the top marks. Okay, just use that paragraph. Like to practice any questions. Here are two. Uh, you could do it in a book or something. You've got a two marker there. Uh, just which would you just explain one idea? Uh, and then this one, desertification is largely caused by human activity. To what extent do you agree? Offering that kind of however paragraph of like, however, there is a natural cycle.